A study at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine is examining whether transitioning chronically ill patients from hospital to home through the use of a nurse coach could reduce hospital readmissions, a subject of much debate among both hospitals and the federal government. Uh, we want all our patients to land safely at home, have a good care plan in place, understand that care plan, and also be able to receive the care they need at a medical home. However, that has been a struggle for many major academic medical centers like Barnes Jewish. While statistics show around one in five Medicare patients are readmitted to the hospital within a month of discharge, data shows such numbers higher at academic medical centers like Barnes Jewish, who see the sickest of the sick and are a major destination point for chronically ill patients. So we believe that um, patients are readmitted for a number of reasons. Some um, are controlled by the healthcare delivery system, some are unique to patient factors, and we also believe that there is a strong influence uh, in the readmission rate uh, by socioeconomic status. In 2009, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, began publicly reporting readmission data for three conditions, heart attack, heart failure, and pneumonia. While the website shows Barnes Jewish Hospital as a national leader in outcomes for those diseases, it also showed higher than average readmission rates. So it's one of the paradoxes that we need to explore. Why do we have such good outcomes? And yet this perceived marker of quality of care readmission rate uh, is relatively high. Dr. Lynch points to Barnes Jewish's unique role in the St. Louis region. While the hospital serves some patients who come from literally all over the world for specialized treatments they cannot get anywhere else, the hospital also serves much of St. Louis's underserved community. Due to closures of hospitals and clinics that previously treated many of these patients, Barnes Jewish has been left as the primary care provider for many. For those in poverty, following a detailed medical plan can be challenging. Many of the drivers uh, include things like transportation, opportunities for diet, um, social interaction with other patients that may have these types of conditions. And we know that there are deficits uh, for many of these patients in those areas. To overcome some of those issues that bring patients back in the hospital, Dr. Lynch and his colleagues at Washington University are studying a program called Transition of Care. And our goal is to see if having a nurse assigned for 30 days to work with patients can help reduce avoidable readmissions to the hospital. The hospital offers a nurse health coach who visits the patient's home within a day of discharge to make sure the patient can and does follow the care program the hospital sent home for them. A big part of what we do is medication reconciliation because we found that patients get home and they maybe don't really understand their new medications. They might keep taking their old medications in addition to their new medications. Nurses use lists that include pictures and even tape pills to the list to help patients better understand their regimen. They help educate patients and empower them to maintain doctor appointments, ask questions, and take action if problems arise. Then we review their disease process and how to recognize uh, warning signs that their disease might be progressing a little bit so that we can instruct them what steps they should take to keep from getting readmitted. For instance, um, use your PRN inhaler if uh, you have asthma. My sense is that it is beginning to work. We're from the field, the nurses are telling us that they are uh, finding a lot of issues uh, and addressing those issues for the patients. This map shows our value stream. And if the transition of care program proves to lower readmissions, Dr. Lynch hopes it becomes public policy. While it may be an expensive proposition on its face, supporters say in the long run it could save providers and payers valuable health care dollars and give patients better care as well.